Hello, I'm Dr. Barry Kelly, and welcome to this DVD on communicating with difficult patients. This is an area many undergraduates find difficult. However, since we dropped the paternalistic approach to try and become, what is it Johnny Cohen says? Oh yeah, competent, caring, compassionate physicians, really in touch with their patients and families. Well, ever since that old tosh, patients feel they have the right to become emotional with us. It's disgusting that they're part of modern medicine and you need to become competent in order to pass exams. Firstly, the antisocial patient. Of course, with my natural charm and charisma, patients rarely become angry at me. And for those students who, like me, combine great looks with great intellect, you may have to deliberately antagonise patients in order to practice this skill. <laughs> Luckily, today we've brought in a complete psycho. Now, the key with those social patients is to acknowledge to the patient that it's a difficult situation, but you're there to facilitate the best. Excuse me, um, what's going on here? And, and what's the camera for? Did I say it was your turn to speak? As I said, to facilitate the best outcome, I think you're willing to work with the patient and not against them. I'm sorry, it's just that I came here to speak to a doctor and all you seem to be doing is talking to that bloody camera. And Mr Jones, it's quite clear you're being quite the angry little rascal today, aren't you? <laughs> to help. Try not to swear, even if the wanker is getting in the tits of it. <laughs> Excuse me, I can hear you. That's a positive sign, isn't it? Now, let's not get agitated, Mr Jones, or there will be consequences. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Well, the problem, Mr So-called Doctor, is that I've had this headache for weeks on end now, and I just can't seem to get rid of so when dealing with restless patients. Try not to exacerbate the issue. <laughs> Procedure if the patient does become too <coughs> to make sure no harm comes to yourself. <laughs> of course, sedating a patient, as I've done there, should only be necessary in extreme situations or if they're really annoying. 